you can look around, uh, you can see there is climate change. You also can look at the data and the facts uh, that this is caused by greenhouse gases. It's a huge challenge, I think probably one of the largest that the world has, has faced. It's real and it's here. So sustainability to me actually means that we have to fix the planet. It's difficult not to worry, is it? And, and, and you want to make sure that what we do doesn't continue contributing to that. And if we're going to do that, we're going to have to do it more sustainably going forward than, than the world has done previously. As the world battles climate change, by 2050, nations and industries hope to have achieved a dramatic reduction in carbon emissions. To ensure this target is met, INEOS has devised a number of roadmaps for each of its sites that will see emissions reduced in stages, including a 55% reduction by 2030 before reaching net zero by 2050. To tackle climate change is impossible without chemical industry because we are providing the basic building blocks who will provide the solutions for the future. To give you one example, a windmill is impossible without the polymers we produce. Yes, we run energy intensive industries that do a lot of good for society and do a lot of things that help society. What we need to do is we need to keep running them, but in a sustainable way. To achieve this, there are six key areas for emission reduction that will ensure ways of working become more sustainable. The first of these sounds simple, but it's a big one, changing the fuel we use. INEOS is the largest renewable power buyer in Belgium to supply our sites with wind energy coming from the wind farms in the North Sea. And that's quite exciting because it's the first one in Belgium. And another example is our focus on hydrogen. We think hydrogen has a major role to play in the energy transition as a means to replace combustion of fossil fuels today. Uh, we, we manufacture quite a lot of hydrogen already and, and we have plans to invest in, in making that a business in its own right. In Roughness, we have a, a VCM plant, which is the precursor to PVC. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a, a 20 megawatt hydrogen electrolyzer. So it will take water and electricity and it will make hydrogen. Hydrogen will go in and replace gas in the VCM crackers. And on the back of that, we will start also feeding hydrogen into the transport market. Switching out different forms of energy is just the start. But ensuring that the products INEOS make are more sustainable means finding new materials from which to make them. We are looking at uh, replacing some of uh, the fossil-based raw materials into what is called bio-based materials. An example of this is INEOS Phenol, certified by an external body to be able to deliver bio-based phenol. And this will, at source, basically reduce the CO2 uh, emission. A year and a half ago, we launched BioVin which is a bio-based PVC, where we use effectively pine oil from wood that is put in the crackers as feedstock. Some of the big brands that perhaps previously were reluctant to use PVC are now coming back and saying, this is a fantastic product. There is no doubt that bio-based products will be an important part of this transition, but I still think that the ultimate solution is recycling the product that's out there. The third step in this chain is optimization. Making sure that everything INEOS does is in the safest, most efficient way possible. This is in our DNA, in the heart of what we do. And that's also the reason why INEOS, with many of its production sites, is a leader on a global basis. Our phenol unit in Antwerp, this is the most energy efficient unit in the world at this stage. Back in 2005, when INEOS took over Rangemouth, carbon emissions were around about just under 5 million tonnes. Now we're sitting at uh, about 3 million tonnes, so that is a 37% reduction. And that takes us from 5 to 3. Now the next step is to go from 3 to 2. Historically, we've done things like replace old plants with new plants that give you greater efficiency. We've done a lot of work on optimization, but we need to go a lot harder and a lot faster. It's all about getting into the detail about what is our energy consumption? Could we change the way we provide energy to the plant? So the obvious example of that very recently is the decision to retire the old salt plant in, in Tavaux in France, which uses steam based on, on fossil fuel generation to evaporate salt, uh, and replace that with an electrical solution. Even though processes like these are being worked on to reduce carbon emissions, there are also methods to capture and store it before it can even enter the atmosphere. 
Antwerp already has one such process up and running in a partnership called BCO2. And at Grangemouth in Scotland, the site is part of an ambitious project called ACORN. So the ACORN project at, at its heart is a, a project where depleted oil and gas fields off the northeast coast of Scotland can be used to safely store CO2 put the carbon back into the depleted oil fields, mainly into the porous sandstone rock, which can safely keep it there. Uh, the part of the acorn that is, is significant to us is joining that up with our complex here. It will safely and efficiently capture the CO2 from industries like ours and other high intensity industries. And it will be a great part of the journey towards net zero in 2045. And lastly, when these five measures have been applied and emissions reduced, carbon offsetting will also be considered. All of these methods and processes are being driven every day by the work of countless individuals across the group, at every level, fueled by a passion to make a difference. Sustainability has become a kind of buzzword, but in reality, if you look at it, it's just common sense. And therefore, it always has been in our processes. We are a population of scientists and engineers. We have the skills, we have the capability, and we have the strong values to deliver the sustainable future across the world. I'm confident that INEOS will be a big part of the solution for the green transition, undoubtedly. And it will require changes that we as consumers will have to do in our everyday lives as well. This is a journey that not just companies like INEOS and Innovin are on, it's the society that's on them.